Hey guys, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the JNL 3.0 driver side oil separator here in black, available for all 2015 and newer EcoBoost Mustangs. Now you should be considering an oil separator for your EcoBoost if you're looking to help capture all of that oily vapor and junk produced during combustion from being reintroduced back into your intake track. Now the JNL will feature the made in the USA billet aluminum construction, three ounce capacity here again in anodized black, complete with all of the factory style hoses and fittings, all for right around that $200 price point. So in short, your EcoBoost Mustang has what is called a CCV system, or short for crankcase ventilation. Now the purpose of this system is to help regulate and remove fumes produced during combustion from the engine crankcase and to alleviate crankcase pressure, which could otherwise lead to things like oil leaks or seal damage. Now these pressures are even increased on the EcoBoost application because it is turbocharged, cylinder pressures are up, thus, magnifying this problem. Now, because laws do mandate that the CCV system has to be sealed, you can't just vent it to atmosphere, the engine does use vacuum to draw these vapors out and then ultimately plumb them back into your intake track where in theory they are to be burned off during the next combustion cycle. And again, that sounds good in theory, but a lot of times these oily vapors end up leaving residue on things like your intake manifold and your intercooler causing misfires and in some extreme cases, even on the backside of your valves, which can lead to valve coking or deposits over the years. So with all that being said, how does the JNL oil separator work? Well, all of that oily vapor is going to pass through the CCV system and into your JNL separator. Now at that point, all of the little microscopic solids present in this vapor, all the little tiny particles of oil or unburnt fuel are gonna collect in the aluminum honeycomb and stainless steel mesh up top and then basically drop down into that canister to be stored while still allowing all of the fresh clean air to pass through and basically allowing your OECCV system to function properly without any of those dirty side effects. Now construction is going to be extremely solid here with the JNL and that is going to include things like your knurled billet aluminum canister, three ounce capacity, hence the 3.0 in the name, along with the CNC cut JNL logo right on the top of the canister. Now, as you can see guys, this particular kit does feature the stealthy anodized black finish, but if you prefer to see this thing under the hood a bit more, maybe a little bit more pop, you can always opt for the anodized silver finish instead. Now, on the other hand here, guys, the big pro of the JNL kit, at least for me, is going to be the inclusion of the factory length hoses and factory style connectors, which will in turn deliver a very factory-like fit and do so without any extra modification. There's no need to cut any hoses to length, add hose clamps or anything like that. Very, very simple install, plug and play, which is a lot to be said, especially when you compare this to some of your more budget-friendly options. Speaking of which, the price point for the driver side kit here for the JNL will live around that $200 mark, guys, which does put this in the premium category for the oil separators for your EcoBoost. Now, getting back to what I just said, if uh, this is a little too rich for your blood, we can talk about the CNL options that you might find here on the site. Definitely more budget friendly, about half the cost of the JNL here. Basically gonna perform the same task, but there is a lot more work to get those installed, basically cutting the hose to length, adding your own hose clamps, things like that. It's not as polished of a final result as the JNL in my opinion. So yes, you are paying a little bit more for this at the end of the day, but you're getting the ease of install and a more polished or OE look. Well, let's switch gears and talk a little bit more about the install. And as we've said throughout this video, plug and play, plug and play. And while yes, that is the case, for the actual canister itself, the only extra work you might need to do here is actually mounting the bracket for the JNL, also laser etched by the way. And at that point, once your bracket is installed, you can install the canister to the bracket. Now overall guys, the site's gonna call this a soft one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, at least 10 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit more to get in place from start to finish, just depending on how fast you like to work. But now to give you a better idea of just how things will go down, let's check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. The tools you'll need for this project are a ratchet, a 10 millimeter socket, an 11 millimeter wrench, a long flathead screwdriver, and a number two Phillips screwdriver. 
Hi everyone, today we're installing an oil separator on our Mustang, so let's get started with the uninstall part first. Now before we get started with the install part of this, or even the uninstall, I want to let you know you're going to need access to either a lift or a floor jack and some jack stands. Now once you've got the vehicle properly supported, you can go ahead and remove your engine cover using two 8mm and two 10mm bolts that are attaching it. Now ours is already off, so we don't have to worry about that. Now we can go ahead and start to remove the PCV lines. Now before you get started, you do want to make sure that you are working on a cold engine here because you are going to have to be reaching in there around the engine so you don't want to burn yourself. Now the first connector that we're going to disconnect is right here behind the throttle body and what you're going to do is use a long flathead screwdriver to push down on this white tab here and that will release the two clips at the bottom. And then you can reach underneath. And push that connector off. So push down on that connector. And then push the connector towards the engine. And that will disconnect that end of the hose. Now you either need to raise your vehicle up or crawl underneath it to get the bottom line off. The other end of our PCV line is down here below the intake manifold, pretty much in line with your motor mount here. And it's got the same type of connector that it has up on the top. So it's got a white connector. You're gonna press that down and you should be able to see the clips open up here. So once you've got that pressed down, you can go ahead and pull that connector out and then go ahead and remove your line. Now we can go ahead and install our mounting bracket on this tab on the strut tower right here using the supplied nut and bolt in the kit. So we'll just put our bolt through the top of the mounting bracket and then through the hole in the tab. Then we can put our screw, put our bolt into the nut. Now I would leave it loose right now until we get everything attached. That way we know exactly where we're gonna put it. Now once we've got our bracket on, we can go ahead and attach our oil separator. Now you want to make sure when you mount this on the mounting bracket that it basically lines up with the O and the C in the same way that the O and the C are on the mounting bracket. So we'll use the supplied screws in the kit to go ahead and attach that. And you can tighten that down with your number two Phillips screwdriver. Now that we've got that attached, we can go ahead and connect our hoses. So you're gonna to wanna to run the hose that's on the same side as the C on the mounting bracket here, underneath your throttle body and connect it to the connector underneath it where we disconnected it from earlier. So we'll just route this underneath. And once we've got it underneath, we can go ahead and push that onto the connector. And then you just push it on until it snaps into place. Give it a little tug just to make sure that it's locked in. Now we can go ahead and attach the lower hose. Now we'll do the same thing for the lower hose that we did for the top. Push it onto the piece of fitting in the block until it snaps into place. And then give it a little tug to make sure that it is securely attached. Now we can go back up top and tighten down our mounting bracket. You'll need an 11 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter socket to be able to tighten this up. So we'll put our wrench on the nut below and our 10 millimeter socket on the bolt. And 
and just tighten that down. Now you can go ahead and replace your engine cover if you have one and your installation is complete. And that wraps up our review and install of the JNL 3.0 oil separator with the black anodized finish for the driver's side on 15 and newer Mustang EcoBoost. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.